Hey, welcome back everyone, I am Matt Larson, and earlier tonight, Piers Morgan went down to Texas and thought he would try to sway some more Second Amendment supporters into being for the assault rifle ban and the magazine ban and just all these other things. And frankly, Piers Morgan got shut down again. Uh, funny thing is, he ended up shooting a semi-automatic rifle and a fully automatic rifle and he was blown away and some of the words that he said while shooting this and after shooting them uh, are quite comical some of the ways that he tried to sway people's thoughts on these guns so i'm going to play that clip for you right now and i'll catch you on the flip side well i can't speak for any other state but texas uh, i know that my customers feel that they're going to be banned and so they feel that they need to go get it now while they still can what are the most popular selling of the guns? Anything right now with over a 10-round capacity semi-automatic, because that's what the rumor is that they're going to try to ban. Do you believe any guns should be banned? I do not. Why? It's not guns that kill people. Uh, th this is the case we need to ban alcohol, because alcohol kills more people than guns 20 times over, 50, I don't know the statistics. But do and you believe that the more guns there are in America, the safer the country is? In the hands of right people, yes. Yes. You know, if you're going to do anything, I, I agree that, you know, people that have uh, mineral retardation or violent, you know, felons, those people should not have guns. They should not have the right to vote. They shouldn't have any rights, in my opinion. But law-abiding citizens, you should be able to do whatever you want um, as far as gun purchasing. Okay. Well, look, let's fire some of these weapons. Um, what are we going to start with? Start with the JP Enterprises, semi-automatic, AR-15. Um, Every time you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. And this is a pure, unmodified semi-automatic? It is. So there's no one's done anything to this. I haven't tried to flip it into an automatic. It's no. A, it's, a, it's a bog standard, if you like, AR-15. Right. Which is, to remind the viewers, this is the weapon that's been used in the last five mass shootings in America, including Aurora and Sandy Hook. Trigger until you're ready to shoot. Finger out of the trigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you get your sights lined up, take it off of safety. Mm-hmm. And then go ahead and shoot. Wow. Safety's on. You need to flip this twice and make sure that you lean forward into it because it does rise. There you go. Just make sure you lean into it. I mean, to me, they just feel unbelievably powerful. Right. You can see that you were nowhere near as accurate. You missed the target so many times. No, but it, it was, I could feel it just rising all the time. Right. So my accuracy was far less than with the previous weapon. But it, the, the speed of the bullets, the power, all it's about of it. twice as fast. And that's why they call this, when you shoot one of these, it's called spray and pray. You spray bullets everywhere and pray that it hits the target. They're not very accurate at all. And as you guys saw, Piers Morgan even said it himself accuracy was weighed down with the fully automatic rifle and unfortunately for him that really goes against what he's trying to say he's trying to make it sound like you know what fully automatic rifles are only made for one thing and that's to kill as many people as possible well if that would be true you'd think accuracy would be a lot higher with the fully automatics but that's not how it goes and unfortunately the whole main point of this is is that we're trying to prove that you know what in the hands of an untrained person, a fully automatic rifle does a lot less damage compared to a fully automatic rifle in the hands of, say, a soldier or a sniper, somebody that's trained to shoot that gun. Sure, they can do the most mass casualties. But if you look at it in just, say, my hands, because I'm not trained to go shoot a fully automatic rifle. I'm just, I'm not. I could go out and hit more watermelons off a stump with a semi-automatic rifle compared to a fully automatic rifle. And you know what kills? Accuracy kills. So Piers Morgan completely just blows away his argument for why fully automatic rifles only have one cause. In reality, fully automatics have two causes, the reasons for you to have them. 
Number one, you just want to go shoot crap and blow things up. Now, when I say blow things up, you could blow up like fruits, propane tanks, whatever. You guys know uh, what you can do with guns. Or two, they're collectors. And I guess you could throw a third one because it's my damn right to own a fully automatic rifle. Three reasons there really are to own an assault rifle. People don't go out there and say, I want a fully automatic rifle because I want to go kill as many people as possible. It's just not what they think. Unfortunately, that's just not what nuts think. They don't think logically like that. Uh, it, uh, uh, Piers Morgan just does not have a leg to stand on. So what do you guys think? I think that Piers is really trying to kind of play possum a little bit on the whole gun right issue. Uh, he definitely is pulling back a little bit on it and they're more talking about now just fully automatics when in reality fully automatics are already illegal and about how the magazine sizes need to come down because there's no reason why you need 30 rounds to go shoot clay pigeons <laughs> and I guarantee he would say clay pigeons because he's dumb enough to think people go clay pigeon shooting with a rifle so what do you guys think about Piers Morgan and going there? I think he's trying to pull a card from Obama and saying Obama goes skeet shooting all the time. But leave your answer down below. Do you think that he is trying to calm the Second Amendment people down a little bit? Or is he actually lightening up? I know. I'm not saying he's lightening up. I say he's literally trying to lull people to sleep and then go and attack it head on. So leave your answer down below in a comment or video response. But for now, I ask that you guys please thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. If you want to see the full interview and full CNN clip, the link will be down below. Mox News, I thank you for that clip and getting up to YouTube so quick as always. Uh, you guys should subscribe to Mox News. I'll put a link down in the description also. But for now, you guys know what you got to do. Also, if you're new to my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the current political news. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go run, Paul. Peace.